It's quite a different start to today's show. Uh oh. oh. Was it going to be good? Sorry. Sorry. Um, as you know, this morning is very much a family show. You often share parts of your lives with us and we share ours with you. And today, uh, Philip would like to share something with you. And to help him do that, he's here with his on-screen partner, but more importantly, his friend, Holly. Thank you, Eamon and Ruth. So... So, Philip's gay. Spoiler. Philip's gay. Philip Schofield has been married for 27 years and now he's decided that he wants to uh, have sex with another man. And everyone like Holly Willoughby is so happy and proud and excited because he wants to have sex with another man. This is what I don't fucking understand. He's been married for 27 years. Why is the fact that he wants to have sex with another man so stunning and brave? It's because he wants to have sex with another man, isn't it? Because if he come out and wanted to have sex with another woman, let me say something, there'd be fucking hell to pay. <laughs> this is my point. Okay, the way I was brought up was like this. Right? You're supposed to treat someone that is gay exactly the same as you would treat them if they were straight or if they were anything. You're not supposed to treat them differently because of their sexuality. That's how I was brought up. You're supposed to judge everyone the same by the same set of rules. Okie dokie. Well, Philip Schofield has been married to someone for 27 years. And he woke up this morning and he said, you know what? I want to start fucking someone else. Well, in my book, that makes you a bit of a jerk. Doesn't it? Just think about it. If he come out on the TV and said, yeah, I've been with my wife for 27 years and I'd like Holly Willoughby to read a statement. And Holly goes, well, yeah, it's been very difficult for Philip because he's been wanting to bang other chicks for a long time. But uh, it's finally got the best of him. He's got loads of chicks that he wants to bang. And he's just decided, you know what? I don't want to be with my wife or my family anymore. I just want to start banging him. And uh, he's going to start from tomorrow. And it's not been easy for him. Because, like he says, he's had to let down his wife gently. He's had to tell her and his kids and everything. It's been fairly horrible for him. But uh, he really wants to just start plowing through chicks. And he's rich and famous. He's got a lot of money. It's not going to be difficult for him. And I think we should all start a giant Mexican wave in the studio from the left to the right. I have never been more proud of my friends than I am today. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute man of the match performance here from Philip Schofield. He's leaving his wife for another man. Wow. In a moment, he wants to talk here to you to explain a little more. If you haven't seen the statement, this is what it said. You never know what is going on in someone's seemingly perfect life. Sorry, wait a second. I thought Philip wanted to tell us something. Right, well then why is Holly Willoughby talking? Try it the other way around. Try it as a straight man. Say to Holly Willoughby, listen, um, I've been lying to my wife for 27 years and I want to start banging another woman. Uh, listen, can you just tell everyone for me and sort of smile while you do it and then after you've told them, can you just sort of hold my hand and ruffle my hair? and go, oh, this guy's amazing, and he's, and he's so great, and just sort of hug me and just fully endorse what I've done. Would you mind doing that? How do you reckon it's going to go? What issues they are struggling with, or the state of their well-being. And so you won't know that what has been consuming me for the last few years, with the strength and support of my wife and my daughters, I've been coming to terms with the fact that I am gay. This is something that has caused many heartbreaking conversations at home. I've been married to Steph for nearly 27 years, and we have two beautiful grown-up daughters, Molly and Ruby. My family have held me so close. They have tried to cheer me up, to smother me with kindness and love, despite their own confusion. Yet still, I can't sleep, and there have been some very dark moments. My yeah, 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 I imagine it is quite hard to lie to your wife for 27 years. But uh, on the positive side, at least if you lie to her about wanting to have sex with men, when you come clean, instead of getting any sort of trouble, you appear to go to this morning and everyone bakes you a fucking basket of mini muffins. Today, quite rightly, being gay is a reason to celebrate and to be proud. Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, there's every reason to celebrate and be proud if you get... Unless, of course, you've been lying to your wife for 27 years, then I think as a sort of common courtesy, 
you should probably, you know, leave the party poppers at home for at least a couple of weeks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, d- I don't think I don't think he's done anything particularly stunning and brave. He's been married to someone for 27 years, and he wants to fuck other other people. Okay, we're all the same in this utopia that you guys. But so we're all the same. So so I don't understand why it makes any difference that the person that he wants to fuck instead of his wife is gay. Are you supposed to lie to your wife for 27 years? No. Right. So why is that some sort of ticker tape parade? Just because Philip Schofield is gay, I'm I'm really struggling to understand this. Yes, I'm feeling pain and confusion, but that comes only from the hurt that I'm causing to my family. Steph has been incredible. I love her so much. She is the kindest soul I've ever met. My girls have been astonishing in their love, hugs, and encouraging words of comfort. Both mine and Steph's entire families have stunned me with their love, instant acceptance, and support. Yeah, well, I can understand why you're stunned. Because you get an instant acceptance and support. I guarantee you, right? If you turn around to your wife after 27 years and her family and say, listen, I want to start banging another woman, you ain't getting instant support. You're not getting it. But but it's harder to be gay. It's, it's, oh, it's impossible to be gay. I mean, from the minute one that you're gay, your whole life is just impossible. For example, if you've been lying to your wife for 27 years, oh, and you're gay, oh, the trouble you're going to get in. Holly Willoughby's going to sit there and grin like a Cheshire cat while she tells everyone else for you that you've been lying to your wife, and then after it's exposed that you've been lying to your wife and you've possibly been having a gay affair with someone that works on the programme, they're not mentioning this. They're not mentioning this in this segment. But after that's been exposed, not only will you not be treated like you've done anything wrong, you'll be treated like you've won some sort of Nobel Peace Prize for being this incredible, amazing human being. Am I the only one thinking this? My friends are just the best, especially Holly, who has been so kind and wise and who has hugged me as I... You don't think it's more difficult to be straight than it is to be gay? Okay, let me tell you something. I want you to do something for me. I want you to be with your wife for 27 years. Then I want you to announce that you've been lying to her for 27 years and you want to start fucking another woman. And then I want you to go on TV and I want you to make this face as somebody else tells everyone what you're doing. I want you to make this face like a pleased, maniacal toad. But I want you to hold that face for 15 seconds and I want you to see if everyone thinks you're the bee's fucking knees. Because it seems to be working out for Philip Schofield. It's on her shoulder. At ITV, I couldn't hope to work with more wonderful and supportive teams. Every day on this morning, I sit in awe of those that we meet and who have been brave and open in confronting their truth. So now it's my turn to share mine. This will probably all come as something of a surprise, and I understand. But only by facing this, by being honest, can I hope to find peace in my mind and a way forward. Please be kind, especially to my family, Philip. So. Wow. I think we all just take a breath at that point. And I know that, I mean, reading that, I can hear your voice. I can hear the pain. I can hear how difficult that is for you. Um, This is a big day. And I know that it's something you've been living with, as you said there, in in a conflict for a really, really long time. Um, It's out there now. How does this moment feel? Uh, It's funny because everyone I've spoken to, um, you. Yeah. um, Hey, Holly, he's he's leaving his wife and breaking up his family. Can you try and remember that when you think what face you're going to pull? You appear to have gone with... uh, Cheshire Cat on MDMA. Um, have all been so supportive and so uh, loving and caring. Um, and my entire family, mm. to a person, have grabbed us and said, it's okay, it's okay. We love you, we're proud of you. Yeah. Hey guys, did you know that a famous millionaire TV presenter has been lying to his wife for 27 years and now he wants to go and start having sex with someone else? Oh my God. Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, I do hope that he's doing okay. My principal feeling is, oh, is he doing okay? Can we check on his feelings? Is he okay? Can someone please get Holly Holly Willoughby to hold his hand while he tells everyone that he wants to leave his wife? Can we just make sure 
that the millionaire TV presenter that wants to start having sex with someone else because uh, by all sounds of things an affair that he's been having is about to be exposed. Can we just make sure that there is enough blanket media coverage that this guy is the greatest guy in the world? Um, and every person I tell, uh, it gets a little lighter and a little lighter. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I have made this dish decision, which is essential for me and essential for my head. Yeah. And that's principally the reason that I've done this. Um, of course, I'm really very aware that, you know, Steph and the girls are home watching this. Mm -hmm. um, OK, well, can someone tell Holly Willoughby that they're at home watching, please? Um, and I know what you're going to say. I know how you're going to criticise this video. You're going to be like, Alistair Philip Schofield has come out as gay. Do you have any idea how hard it is for him to do that? No, I don't have any idea how hard it is for him to do that. Because, to be honest, Holly Willoughby did it fucking for him. He just sat there and looked like, oh, I'm so, so great. Right? She did the whole fucking thing. I really do not understand. Yes, okay. If you've been married for 27 years, you've got a couple of kids. I imagine it is difficult to come out and say, by the way, I'm going to start fucking a, a completely different gender and that's all over. I imagine that is quite hard. Am I the only one that thinks that that should be hard to do? Because it's a pretty bad thing to do. We don't, you don't want to be in this scenario, guys. It's not great. If you have to break up your family... It's not awesome, Holly. It's not the best thing that ever happened. It's not a cause of celebration. And let's all be happy. This is None of this is good. None of this is good. It doesn't make any difference whether you're gay or straight. So why is it so exciting that there's another gay? It's not, is it? I got some advice for you. If you're gay, don't get married to a woman. Or if you do, just tell her. As soon as you can. Don't wait 27 years and then make Holly Willoughby do it while she grins like a maniac. That's the end of the video again. The video's ending in five, four, three, two, one. And now it's the end of the fucking video, man. Go fuck yourselves.